Hello, everybody. I'm Michael Jansen, Chief Research Officer for Everest Group. And today I'm with Amy Fong, Vice President of our Sourcing and Vendor Management Program. Hi, Michael. Great to chat again. Last week, uh, we did a webinar on portfolio strategies and outsourcing. And, you know, I think one of the misconceptions out there is that um, portfolio strategies is, is synonymous with portfolio consolidation. And in your mind, it's much more sophisticated than that. Yeah, it really needs to be, especially right now. Um, you know, we talk about strategy or rationalization, and rationalization is really about making good decisions, right? And uh, it's not necessarily going from 10 suppliers down to three, although that may be part of it. Um, interesting, because I think this is such a timely topic right now. Since we did that webinar, I've had probably three or four different companies come to me looking at what their strategies need to be or trying to consolidate or rationalize their, their supply base in some way. Um, and you know, when, as we look into a future that could be talent constrained, this becomes even more important to think about it with a broad perspective and different tools in the toolbox. Um, I think of it right now as three different tactics you can take. One is when you're looking at your, you know, your service providers, um, consolidating down to get the you know, fewer number, and op often that'll help you optimize costs and in some ways optimize risk and productivity, but there's also redistribution. So based on the portfolio we have right now, how do we need to shift work around and maybe rebalance it? Um, maybe we have a model that made sense a couple of years ago and now those players have changed in terms of capabilities or cost structure and we need to shift it around. In many cases, you wanna have a backup provider for risk mitigation that has you know, more than 10 or 20% of your, your volume. Um, and then there's also diversification. And I think the diversification column here is really the most interesting as we look at talent, specialist skills and digitalization. Uh, you know, with the digital world, we need different skills. Uh, and there's in, you know, recent times been a shortage in that. Uh, so this need to add specialist providers that can bring those digital skills or to make sure that your existing providers can bring those digital skills and are complementing each other. Uh, so diversifying the portfolio is just as important as you know, consolidating it in some ways. Uh, the real strategic part about this is that you're not just looking to add a long tail, you wanna do it in a smart way. We sometimes talk about uh, strengthen the core and rationalize the tail, right? Again, rationalize doesn't mean we just chop it off. Uh, we make smart decisions. Well, we do have a webinar coming up on IT specialists, and I think that'll be an interesting one to kind of focus in on not quantity, but quality of, yeah. of the opportunity there with the third parties. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting topic. And I encourage people who are thinking about this to both, you know, watch the portfolio strategy webinar if you didn't already see it, and also catch that next one with you on specialist providers, uh, because you really got to think big picture at, at all of these different levers you can pull. Okay, great. So um, there's a lot more in the actual um, uh, webinar. Uh, you can click the link below to, to uh, see the on-demand version. And uh, if you're interested in the IT specialist, we'll have that link in the, in the, in the uh, posting as well. So thank you for your time. And Amy, have a great day. Thanks a lot. You too, Michael.